Researcher discovers 79 Linux USB vulnerabilities, Google gets strict with malicious Android app developers, and a man is charged for using hackers for hire. This is Hacker Daily for Thursday, November 16th, 2017, and I'm your host, Marley Oxenholm. A Google security researcher discovered 79 Linux USB vulnerabilities. Andre Konovalov found some of the flaws using a kernel fuzzing tool called SysCaller, created by fellow Google researcher Dmitry Vuyukov. Konovalov stated all of them can be triggered with a crafted malicious USB device in case an attacker has physical access to the machine. However, as past instances have shown, an attacker wouldn't necessarily have to gain access to a target machine themselves. They would only need to find a way to trick somebody else into doing it for them. Unfortunately, due to the Linux kernel's popularity, these flaws affect a wide range of devices, and experts aren't sure of the exact number at the moment yet. In other news, due to the rise in malicious Android accessibility services, Google has officially decided to take stricter measures against the apps on its platform that misuse this feature. Google is emailing Android app developers and informing them that within 30 days they must show how the accessibility code used in their apps is helping disabled users. Otherwise, their apps will be removed from the Play Store entirely. Many popular Android apps use the Accessibility API to provide users with benefits. But over the past few months, there has been an increase in malware, such as Double Locker Ransomware and BankBot, misusing the feature to infect users. The email from Google read, If you aren't already doing so, you must explain to users how your app is using the accessibility feature to help users with disabilities. Apps that fail to meet this requirement within 30 days may be removed from Google Play. Alternatively, you can remove any request for accessibility services within your app. You can also choose to unpublish your app. And lastly, federal prosecutors are charging one individual for using hackers for hire to launch DDoS attacks against a former employer. 46-year-old John Kelsey Gamble has been charged with intentional damage to a protected computer and made monthly payments to services like VDOS to launch periodic attacks in an attempt to bring down Washburn Computer Group in Minnesota. Authorities stated that Gamble also used these services on at least six other companies as well. However, Gamble's attorney, Rachel Pelos, argued that her client never personally attacked the company and that authorities should focus their efforts on the Hackers for Hire service instead. Well, that's all I have for you guys today, and thank you for tuning in for your current InfoSec highlights at Hacker Daily. This episode was brought to you by Pentester Academy, the leader in online cybersecurity education. Join over 10,000 professionals from 90 countries to learn security online. Also brought to you by Hacker Arsenal, artillery for cyber warriors. Visit us on HackerArsenal.com to check out our latest attack defense gadgets. And use our promo code HackerDaily to receive 10% off on all Hacker Arsenal gear. Once again, that promo code is HackerDaily. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.